This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to continue work on my Ender 3v2 Neo, and I'm going to install a PEI sheet, and then walk you through the steps of how to level the bed quickly and easily using the professional firmware. So let's go ahead and get started. If we take a quick look at my printer, you'll notice that the sheet that's on here that came with the printer already is stained, and I'm having a lot of trouble getting it clean. I don't particularly like this build surface. If you just look at it, it's very much marked up. Like I said, I, I can't seem to get things clean. Now, since this is a removable plate, this makes life really easy if I want to switch to a PEI sheet. So I'll show you on Amazon what I've purchased, and then we'll go ahead and install it, which is just going to be as easy as slapping it on the bed surface. So here's the PEI sheet I ordered. And if you take a quick look at it, it's really cheap. It's uh, $20 with 20% off. So I, I thought, again, for $16, I, I can't go wrong. Even if I don't like it, the ratings are okay. I'll go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look what it comes with. So it comes with the PEI sheet, which is double-sided, magnet. Now, one thing I don't like about this, it does have notches on it. I'm not sure what that's about. But in my case, with the Neo, it already has the magnet installed. So what I need to do is just lay this one here. Now, I'm going to point out that it does have the notches in the back. Like I said, I don't really like, but I don't really print in the very back of the printer here. This is pretty much already installed. Now, I have the old sheet. And I have the magnet that came with the new one. So I can just keep those in case I need it. Now looking at the old sheet, it does have just plain steel. So maybe I could use that for something else. As I said, I just don't like this build surface because it's so hard to clean and deal with. But what I do like is the PEI. And I also like the fact that this is double-sided. So this is a textured sheet as opposed to smooth. I'm using textured on... Uh, my Sidewinder X1, and I really like the texture sheet. I like how it holds everything. So I put the old bed aside, go ahead and level this, this bed. Leveling is pretty simple, professional firmware. I'm going to need to do the Z offset and then level all the corners in the center. And so I'm going to show you my process and how I do this. The tools I use is I do use a feeler gauge. That's the first step. I'm just going to turn my printer on, and I'm just going to go ahead and run a home via the interface. So I'll just go to homing and then auto home. And just make sure that's all still working. Now, in the case of the default setup for the Neo, the probe is already set at the perfect point. So it's probed. Now I'm gonna switch over so we can look at the screen. So I'm gonna try switching back and forth here, or better yet, let me try making a dual view so we can look at these simultaneously. To start my process here, what I'm going to do is, looking at the screen, I'm going to go to Prepare, scroll down to Probe Wizard, and then let's go ahead and Auto Home, and we'll go ahead and start this process. Once I've homed, I'm just going to go move Z to home. And that moves Z to the middle of the bed. Now, this is using my current probe offset, which is negative 0.45. Now, in my case, I use a feeler gauge, but you can use a piece of paper. I like the feeler gauge because now I have a set tool and I just find this works for me. Now my feeler gauge, I do the point 
one millimeter. And so I'm going to run that underneath. I can already feel that I can't slip this under the nozzle. So I'm going to go down here to probe offset, click on it. And I'm going to start moving this up. So I've moved it up off the bed. I can now slip this underneath. Get this so you can see a little better. So I'm slipping it underneath. Maybe I'll go from this side, although I'm going to get in the way of the screen. I hold with one finger, I hold it down. Just go back and forth. Now I'm just going to move it closer to the back. I've moved it up too high, which is fine, but it's still going back and forth. Grabbing a little bit now. Just going to use the front. Keep moving down. So now I'm back to negative again. You can hardly see it, but I'm at point. Now I'm at negative 0.24, and it's really starting to grab now, but I'm going to keep going down because I want it to barely fit under the nozzle. I'm at 0.47, I'm going to back it up to negative 0.45, let's do 4, 5. Now let's go to point four. Like I said I'm barely get it under. So I'm at point three nine, point four, negative point three. That feels pretty good to me. That's really tight. So what that's moving, the nozzle's really tight against my PEI surface. I'm going to pause and we're going to move. We have the Z offset set, so we're going to click. Go back up the back. Go to back. And I think we need to go to advanced. Oh, no. Not advanced. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Advanced and then store settings just to make sure the settings are stored. I'm going to point out that if I have a stored mesh, the mesh is now going to be different because I've changed the Z offset. So I'm going to test each corner. And then I'm going to go back to the center and redo the center. So that's my process for leveling the bed. So let me pause and move to the corners. From the main menu, I'm going to go to prepare. There's probably a better way of doing this. It's just how I do it. I just do disable steppers. Then I go ahead and just physically move the nozzle. What I'm trying to do is get the nozzle right above the screw here. So I'm going to run my, run my feeler gauge underneath. And in my case, I can barely move it underneath. That feels good. Maybe I'm going to go up just a little bit more. Just going to push it over. And now do this corner. Now, it doesn't feel like it's moving underneath here well, so I'm just going to go ahead and start moving the bed down a little bit. Move the bed back up a little bit. So I wanted to barely be able to get the feeler gauge underneath. And I apologize for blocking the screen, but I'm not using that right. And move the nozzle again. I can't get it underneath, so I want to tighten the bed down. So I've moved the bed down this way. And now I can move easily move the feeler gauge underneath. So I'm gonna tighten the bed back, tighten the screw back up. So move the bed back towards the nozzle. Again, I can barely get it under there. It's good. So I'm gonna go to this corner. Barely get it under. So that's good. So I think 
each of my corners is pretty good now. So once I have the corners, I'm going to go back over to the screen and go back to Z-Probe Wizard. I'm going to do an auto home. Because I've moved the screws, the center is going to be a little bit different now. On the auto home, now I want to do, move Z to home to move the nozzle into the center of the bed. Now, I still have it at negative 0.43, and this feels really loose now. So I'm going to go back down to the probe offset, and I want to move this down. So I'm moving the nozzle closer to the bed. That feels like it's grabbing, so I have it at negative. 0.58 should be pretty good. On my next step, I want to go ahead and load a first layer mesh or a first layer test that I can use to make all this work. One of the YouTube channels I, I watch regularly is Film and Friday, and Chep has on his website a uh, paper level lines that he uses for his Ender 3, which is the same size as my Ender 3 V2 Neo. So from the paper leveling section of Filament Friday site, I'm just going to click download files. This is going to take me over to Bangs where I already have an account. I'm going to scroll down and download the model. Just going to save that in my downloads folder. So that's downloaded. Let me switch over so we can see what I have to do next. Going into my downloads, I'm going to right click on that file and extract all. Now, in my case, I'm just going to use the STL because he already has a pre-compiled G code, but that's for the Ender 3. Mine's the Ender 3 V2 Neo, so I have slightly different code that's needed. So I'm just going to double click on that. So in Prusa, let's change which printer I have this set up to. So go to my Ender 3 V2 Neo. I'm going to use Creality Filament, my print settings. I'm just going to change that to 0.2 normal and go back over to my plotter. Now, the one change I'm going to make here is just arrange this so it's in the center. Now, if you look at this, what it's going to do is it's going to start in the corner and basically just trace lines. While it's tracing lines, I'm going to go ahead and make any adjustments I need to make on the knobs. Once I have this, I should be good to go. So let's hit slice. And then I'm going to export the G code. And move that over to, a, to an SD card. So let me go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back. I've added the SD card here, so let's go over to Media. The very first one is my check bed leveling. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm just going to click and it's going to take a couple minutes to load up and get configured. And once it starts, I'll come back. My printer now is putting in a purge line. And hopefully you can see this. Here's the first line. I'm going to move the bed down a little bit. So I'm... So I'm moving this down a little bit. The bed's, the nozzle's a little too close. It's so going up a little bit. Sorry. So what I do is just run my thing, keep running my finger across these lines. It should be off the bed a little bit and stick it. Now, feeling this. It's actually feeling really good. It's not pulling up at all. And so I just had to adjust these knobs just a little bit. So I just keep running my finger across it. 
make sure it's down. The first, the skirt line appeared to be going into the battle a little bit. It was too close. But since I moved everything, you know, like, we're very good to go. Just look over here. It's a little weird over here, but I think it's just a little excess filament. It's on the nozzle. So let's check this line. So this is looking good. So if you look here, the squares look good. And what I'm going to do, since these are holding real well, so I'm just going to go over my display and hit stop and go ahead and cancel. There's no reason to keep going. So what I can do now is in a second, I'm just going to peel all my lines up. Clean the bed. Throw all this away. As you can see, it must be my nozzle's a bit of a mess. I'll have to clean that. But I'll finished my square. Everything's holding good. Finished my print. Now I'm going to go back over to prepare. Because I've messed with the screws underneath and I've moved the bed around. I want to go ahead and just run another mesh. So I'm going to run another mesh so that way it's stored in the printer. And this mesh is, will be my final where this is what I've actually set up. Now as long as I didn't touch anything after I've messed with the screws, the center should be 0 .00. Now, unless things are totally out of whack here, and I have a lot in the red, I feel like I'm pretty much good to go. Now, it's a little hard to see here, but everything so far is in the green. Now, in the past, this side of the bed was a problem, and it appears it's a little higher, but again, still in the green. Now, I'm interested to see what happens when I get to the, right to the outside, and I should get that in a minute. And that's still, again, in the green, so this is looking good. So this is my process for leveling the bed. With particularly a CR touch and a uh, CR touch to BL touch, as well as the Easy ABL Pro. What I do is I go ahead and manually level the bed. And then once I've manually leveled the bed, I then go ahead and run through a probe. And that way the probe is, and the mesh is stored in memory. As this is progressing, I notice I have one circle right here that's point one on the very outside of the bed, right about here. I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to sit here and spend a whole lot of time trying to correct that one point. I'm rarely, if ever, going to print out there. And I actually think at this level, it would still stick to the bed. So I'm, again, just not going to worry about it. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I appreciate you joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I appreciate you spending time with me today. I hope you have a good rest of the day, and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.